what about just the job loss in general? I mean, I had my 21 year old daughter in, in the, in the office today and you know, she's an undergraduate now. And I just said, look in two years, when you go for jobs, you know, a lot of, a lot of what you thought you were good at is now going to be done by an AI. And I said, you yeah. better start being a good AI prompter. But like we see the video now, we see people uploading their um, x-rays into ChatGPT and getting great diagnoses. We're seeing the video that's coming out, Peter. And it's hard not to try to think well, there's going to be some significant job loss. And it feels like everyone's sleeping on that. Is that something? Yeah, you know, listen, I, I think, you know, 10 miles from here um, is Hollywood. And uh, if I were a executive at Hollywood, I'd be scared shitless right now, given what I've seen from the VO3 videos. I mean, they're extraordinary. Yeah. And so, yes, there are going to be job losses and job reinventions. Um, I, you know, it's hard to hard to see it today, but every time there's been new technology uh, that transforms. Um, you know, in the banking system, it was the concern was that the ATM was going to decimate bank tellers and we were going to lose all the bank tellers. Well, there are more bank tellers today and more ATM machines than ever before. Uh, the same thing in the financial world when, you know, Excel and BusyCalc and all those things came out. Uh, ultimately, we're going to retool the jobs and people are going to start to do things at a higher level than ever before. The issue isn't that we're going to find new ways to occupy ourselves and be relevant. It's the speed of the change. That's what's different today, right? There used to be a population of individuals who used to go around the job descriptions where I was a lamp lighter, right? Kerosene lamps and someone would go around every evening and light the kerosene lamps down the streets. That job obviously has gone away. And I think if you went back a hundred years or even 30 years, uh, many of the jobs that exist today would not have been recognized. Peter Thiel took a half a million dollars and turned it into a billion dollars using the exact same techniques we're using inside the investment club. He met a CEO, his name was Zuckerberg. He pitched him the deal and he said, okay, I'll give you a half a million dollars. Mark went public and sold the shares to people like you. Well, what happened to Peter? Well, he exited and got a 2300 X return. The wealthy invest in early stage companies, folks. The public markets are for suckers. It's a rigged game. By the way, this happens in crypto as well. It's called pre-sale tokens. This is Solana. Does anybody know this chain? They sold pre-sale tokens for four cents. And you can see the date on there, April 5th, 2018. Look at Solana today, folks. That thing's up over a thousand X. The media and Wall Street and all these hype people get you to buy the top. Meanwhile, they put their clients in at the bottom and they use you for liquidity to make their clients rich. You can play this same game. You just have to have the financial education and the deal flow. That's it. So we're going to reinvent jobs. We're going to reinvent what people do with their time. Um, other thing to point out is most humans on the planet are doing work that they don't actually love. It's not their purpose in life to do what they're doing, to you know, clean hotel rooms or wait tables. They're doing that because that's the job they could get to put food on the table and get insurance for their family. So the question becomes now, um, you know, what do this is, what do those individuals empowered by by AI and technologies dream of doing? How do they up level? what they're doing to to something that they desire. I think we're going to have, we're going to need to have some version of UBI, universal basic income, um, as wealth begins to get concentrated in the hands of small groups of individuals and companies because of AI and humanoid robotics, which we should also talk about. Yes. Uh, and, and, we're going to need to figure out how that capital gets redistributed. And then with that money, how people begin to uh, reinvest in themselves to do things that have higher value to them, allow them to fulfill uh, their, their dreams to have a more purposeful life. Do you foresee a future 20, 30 years from now where, you know, people are working four hours a week or people are just doing very limited work? And there is so much abundance created by the AI that the, the ecosystem works and the economy works. And like you said, people are just going 
deeper on things that give them more joy. I, I do. I mean, this was the this was the topic of my first book back in 2012, Abundance: The Future Is Better Than You Think, uh, laying out this notion that ex that technology is the force that takes whatever was scarce and makes it more and more abundant. You know, uh, Elon has jumped on that bandwagon, as has Mark Andreessen and a whole slew of you know Sam Altman. They get the abundance theme right now. Um, AI and humanoid robotics are going to create a massive uh, uptick in in global GDP because we're going to be able to produce far more with far less labor and far less cost. Uh, but that increasing GDP is now going to have to uh, be redistributed to individuals who then use that capital uh, to pursue their desires. <laughs> Hey, I know investing in crypto is scary. It takes a real leap of faith because there are so many scams, rug pulls, and bad actors out there. It's a dangerous business, which is why 95% of people lose all their money. Well, that's why I created the London Real Investment Club, so you can access the hottest deals on the planet and use the crypto bull market to create the generational wealth that you deserve. Join my team of over 100 people from around the world that are making millions of dollars behind the scenes investing in blockchain, AI, Web3 games, DeFi, Bitcoin, and more. Don't miss out. Click the link below to book a call with one of my team now. But hurry, this bull market will end soon. I know investing crypto can be scary. That's why you gotta join the investment club. Pull the trigger, let's do this.